This video will cover scenes in Mosaic Designer 2. Scenes allow you to create single effects or static looks for any of your fixtures. It's also where we control any non-intensity or color parameters for fixtures, such as moving lights. When you first come into the Scene tab, you'll see a recreation of the Layouts tab that we previously looked at. To create a new scene, we simply select New at the top. We then have the option to change its number or give it a name. Inside of Scenes, we now have the ability to select fixtures and directly apply their parameters to them. This includes intensity, color, position, beam, and control functions. If I select an LED, I'm probably just going to see my color options and intensity. If I select something like a moving light, I now have a lot more information to work with. All of the different parameters for color, intensity, position, beam, and control, depending on the type of moving light I have patched. When I'm working with any fixture inside of Scenes, I have the ability to quickly select, make modifications, and they're automatically saved into the scene. You don't have to record or save in any other way. If you want to see your modification changes live within the Scenes tab, you have an Output Live button at the top of the screen. This is highly recommended when working with moving lights, so you can see where you're positioning things. Again, to work with moving lights, I select a fixture, go to a tab like Position, and make changes. For some of these parameters, there are also some small effects built in, such as the Effects button within the moving light. You can come in here, select that, and create small movement-based effects. The great part about scenes is they can now be played back whenever you'd like them. They can be played on their own using triggers, as we'll talk about in a later video, or they can be added into timelines, just like media. You go to your Scene tab, select which scene, and notice you now have a new row for scene. You can drag that scene directly in and modify it just like any other effect. When I play this back, I will now have all of the contents that I played within the scene at my disposal. The great part about this is if I ever go back to my scene and make a modification, it will now update throughout anywhere I've used that scene. If you wish to remove something from a scene, simply select the fixture and use the Knockout button. This will remove that particular information from the scene. Scenes are a powerful new addition to Mosaic Designer.